morning, y'all. We are the last ones left, the only remnant of real American. I got to tell y'all, every time I look through the comments section of one of these videos, it just gives me a whole lot of hope because a lot of us don't meet people like us, you know, on an everyday basis. Um, we're going to talk about Israel hitting back at Iran last night. First off, this is very pertinent to this video right here. I want to mention our sponsors, Ready Pantry. They got a shelf life on their food of 25 years and they're introducing a brand new blue can and this water that they're holding inside this can lasts 50 years. You got to have water, y'all. You remember the Boy Scout rule? There's a uh, three Three minutes without air, three hours without shelter, three days without water, gotta have water. So go to readypantry.com, use code BUDDY, you're gonna get 10% off plus free shipping. <laughs> so last night I was sitting in my pajamas watching an old John Wayne movie just trying to detox and all of a sudden an alert comes across the bottom of the screen saying that, of course, Israel has hit back at Iran. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I'm so thankful that only about 5% of America is actually awake because when this spills over, we're gonna be the only ones that are ready. The rest of the people out there in America, especially these white liberal women, I could see them on Saturday morning just confused why they can't go to their Starbucks with a cruise missile stuck in the middle of it. Here's a great idea. Let's ban history from history books. Let's rewrite the history. Let's ban the books that talk about cultural and ethnic history. Remove all the art forms that depict the struggles of all the generations past. That way we can repeat it perfectly and feel like there's no accountability whatsoever because we never knew. Here's the difference between Iran and Israel, though, if you really want to talk about it, and the truth might hurt. Last week, Iran sends 300 rockets, drones, cruise missiles, and none of them are on target. Last night, Israel sends three, and all three of them are on target. If this regime that is currently in charge of Iran really had any sense whatsoever, they would just call it off right now. Remember that the Iranian Air Force is primarily using a bunch of F-14s and late generation MiGs. As I was thinking about this this morning though, here's what I don't want y'all to forget. There's lots of Iranians who hate the regime that is currently in charge of the Iranian government. And I'm gonna mispronounce this name, I'm really sorry, but it was something to the effect of Movina Rostami. She's an amazing volleyball player in the country of Iran. Well. She just put on her Instagram a couple days ago, something to the effect of, I'm really ashamed in this regime's attack on Israel, but you should know that the people of Iran love Israel and they hate the Islamic Republic. Well, yesterday morning, as you can imagine, she was arrested and God only knows what's happening to her right now. See, the one thing I've learned from all these mission trips I've been on, and I've probably done like nine, and a couple of them were in some really dangerous places. One thing I have learned is as you walk through these crazy foreign towns, and you see these children running up to you, smiling, inviting you to play soccer with them, seeing these little girls want to braid my wife's hair because she's blonde and they've never seen a blonde before. I saw moms and dads who were so poor, they're just trying to survive, let alone, you know, even think about trying to fight their oppressive government. You just make a vow inside your own heart at a certain point that you just want to smack the living hell out of anybody who says, let's just flatten this country or flatten that country because that ain't winning. I wish we'd have listened to Ron Paul a lot more over the last 20 years, to be honest with you, and stayed the hell out of a whole bunch of foreign conflicts. That way we wouldn't be running out of money for Social Security. This is happening purely because it's prophetic, though. We've talked about this a bunch on this channel, and, and we're going to talk about it a whole lot more because it's all got to happen. Now, remove the fact that we all hate Biden, okay, because we do, but just remove that for just a second. And think about this. I think we had to have the weakest president in American history for Bible prophecy to actually be played out because Israel has often listened to pretty much everything the USA has told them. When President Bush uh, told Israel not to respond to about 30 plus Iraqi Scud missiles and attacks that uh, landed back in 91, Israel actually listened. They did not respond and nothing escalated to just monumental proportions like it's about to right now. They stood by as requested. Joe Biden has zero influence, so you can see prophetically why we had to have one of the weakest, if not the weakest, U.S. presidents of all time in office for a moment such as this. So I just want to say this. I guess my message to the citizens of Iran is when you talk about America, just give us the same courtesy as I'm trying to give you right now. We don't want to see a whole country flattened at all. Our people didn't vote for these wars. We didn't want these wars. And we're just trying to raise our kids and, and chase our dreams just like anybody else. We don't want anything to do with this. I promise you that is the case of the citizens over here. So don't be mad at us. At any rate, the shift I talked about two weeks ago in that video has clearly happened. All the rules have changed and it just doop, 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 doop from here. You want me to do that again? Doop, 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 doop. <laughs> so we, we're screwed. I'm glad all our tax monies could go to make all these old men who hate each other happy. God bless y'all. Be good.